All right, hi, this is Nemesis, and uh, this is a video review slash installation of Perfect Effects Perfect Combiner PC15 upgrade kit for Jinrai here. And yeah, there's Jinrai here, and uh, here's the kit, just came in. So yeah, the kit comes with a new head with LEDs, uh, uh, fillers for the thighs, and a new well, Jinrai, who will go into the chest and transform and all that. Nice thing is, also, this set also includes batteries. So you don't have to go get some. If you do need replacements, though, you know, it, says it tells you what they need on the screen there. Um, 521As or SR521s, they're very tiny. So, very quick instructions, just telling you, you know, where how to put the batteries in and everything. It looks like you'll need a screwdriver, but um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So here's the set. Let's see if I can get this out. Open this without uh, making everything fly everywhere. Uh, yeah, just as a reminder, this set is specific um, made for Jinrai. So if you have the Pasbro Power Master Prime, it's it can theoretically work. The thing is, it's not gonna match. Wow, this is not coming off. There we go. Oh, almost lost. See, that's what I was trying to free. Not to have was, I don't know, a lot of battery flying off. But yeah, see, the thigh th fillers, uh, you can see that the grays do not match whatsoever on the Power Master Prime. But, um, right. So uh, here's Jinrai. Yep, Jinrai. Quite different. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to try to compare them with the Headmaster version here. Yeah, he's a little bit taller, a little more stylized. Let's see, posability. He's got ball joints to the shoulders, so you can move all around there. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anything at the head. No hips can move forward. That's good. Outward a little bit. There's a knee, there's a ball socket at the knee, so he can. Rotate and then a knee joint, so oop, not too far though. I just popped it off the joint. So you can't put that too far. But yeah, I mean for this size it's not it's kind of what you expect. Okay, so it looks like you move those forward, then outward. Oh, okay, there's an extra little swivel there for that. Then you rotate the knees. Move it up. Okay, and they peg into the shoulder. Little slot there for there, and then do the same on this side, and make sure everything's straightened out. And there, he's uh, broken his hips and whatnot, and now he's the engine. We'll just put him off to the side for now. The head. Um. Yeah, see the batteries going there. Okay, you don't need a screwdriver, it's good. I thought you might need a screwdriver, but yeah, that just pops right off. It's a little uh, notch. And so, trying to grab these batteries. These are very tiny. Put them in like that, and the other one. And push it in. Resistance. And there we go. And the thing on the back of the head is the button for turning it on. If I could just upside down. That's it looks like it's down. Yeah, okay. Oop. Okay, snaps in. And let's see. Yep, there they are. Yep, see, there's a glow. So let's go ahead and try to get the thigh pieces in. All right, so get the arms out of the way and rotate that. Just gonna get that out of the way. This looks like, okay, yeah, that's the, and this just goes in. Yeah, simple. 
real easy. Toolless. I like that. No tools required. They will give you everything you need right in the package. So put that one in. They're, you know, it's pretty obvious which one goes where. And they'll snap in and boom, you got thigh fillers. They shouldn't interfere at all. The one and only uh, spot that's kind of open is now filled in. Looks good. Now to get the head out. That's where things are probably going to get a little dicey. So, okay. As you can see, th those colors don't quite match. You got a white and brown, I guess. Let's see if I can actually... Yeah, a little bit of white and brown. There we go. White and brown, so those don't match, but... uh. It is just a mushroom peg in there, so it's the matter of just getting that out of there, unseated. And that's going to be the difficult part. I might have to do this part on ca off camera. Wait, never mind. I just got it. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty simple. So, real quick, just to compare the two heads. There goes instructions. Uh, just to have Jin Ryan there. Just so we don't have hollow dead eyes. Just real quick. There we go. Okay. Compare the two heads. Uh, slightly different designs. Not hugely different. Well, mine has a slight uh, paint blemish. Not blemish, but a light paint bubble or something right there. Not, not too bad, though, thankfully. But, yeah, this has a more natural looking versus, like, hey, this is a huge mask thing. This actually looks more like an actual head. So... I guess once you pop the old one off, you just pop it into the here, and oh boy, okay, yep, yeah. just pop it in. Make sure it's all the way in. Pop it in, and there you go. You got a new head. heels because those are still a problem I haven't done what I need to do and put Jinrai in I think he just yeah, he just nestles in see if I can it's, I'm not sure if there's any sort of like tabbing or anything yeah I think he just nestles in there Oh, uh, I see. There's slots or something. He just... Yeah, he just slots in. Sort of. And he just kind of slots in there. He doesn't really, like, hold. But, yeah, you know, because of the way this head works and everything, he still transforms the way he does. It's just, you don't... I guess Jinrai doesn't sit in the cab anymore, though, when you uh, are in truck mode, which is a little disappointing, but, hey... I'll probably be alleviated when uh, their PC-16 comes out. Wow, I'm not doing a very good job here. Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Let's see how well that closes. There we go, yep. Closes right up. Yeah, he is for... Jinrai is more for the later upgrade they're doing, but yeah, head still swivels uh, there. Yep, yeah, and has a little hinge, so he does have up and down. Next, so yeah, it's a dual swivel now rather than a ball joint, but still pretty darn good range of motion. LEDs are a pretty nice touch. So yeah, um, the thing is, he is like thirty dollars. This upgrade upgrade kit is for thirty dollars, and it's like. I'm not sure if that's totally worth it at that price, to be honest. It's That's kind of a steep asking price for basically a little head and... Well, not. 
I think it comes out, do you really like the LED function? If that's a huge thing for you, I guess, yeah, because that's where the, I think the bulk of the uh, cost is going is the, those LEDs. But if you don't really care about the LEDs or whatever, this is going to be hard to swallow that $30 price point. Um, yeah, if it was half the price and had no LEDs, yeah, it'd be a no-brainer. No but at $30, it's like, ooh, just for some thigh fill fillers and a little dude. This is only really worth it if you're kind of, well, I think if only really you're you're planning on getting the PC-16 upgrade kit as well. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, 30 bucks. it's kind of that, ooh, that's kind of a cheap, or that's kind of a steep price for what you're getting. So, yeah, it's just, it just comes down to, are the LEDs worth it, and are you going to get PC-16? If, if you, both the answers, if the answer to either one of those questions is no, it's probably not worth it you should wait for a sale or well if you're a little less scrupulous <clears throat> get the you know inevitable knockoff kit the yeah that's uh perfect effects pc 15 upgrade kit for G super Genrai.